What is going on guys? Welcome to today's video. This one's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to be unboxing the NOS kit that we received today for the X7 Pocket Bike. Pretty excited to open up this thing today, so let's get into it. I'm also curious because some of the listing images were pretty questionable. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so first thing I'm seeing is the clear tubing. This goes to the uh, handle for the N2O kit, and then the other end goes to the uh, air filter. Leave a like and comment down below if you wanna see me install this, or I can just show uh, the actual test runs with it. Let me know down below. Okay, so that's the first thing. And then, of course, the zip ties that seems like you get with every pocket bike accessory these days. Good supply of those. All right, here's something for the kit here. Looks like, okay, so I've had this kit before, like you guys may know, but I had a plastic handle one. Looks like this is the uh, strap to keep the handle next to the throttle, or on your handlebar, I should say. And then, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like, to me, a uh, drill bit, though. Huh. I'd have to do some digging on that. And then, here's the uh, nozzle for the air filter. Looks like this one's plastic, unfortunately. I know my plastic handle one for the monster bike was uh, metal, but that should probably work fine still. And then, looks like a little T here. Uh, not positive what we're gonna be doing with this tee, but we'll see. Okay, so looks like here's the actual handle. Huh, so in the picture, I'm pretty sure anyways, the listing I went towards was a red handle, but it looks like this one's black. I'm okay with it though. This is uh, not plastic this time, and I gotta say, it's feeling really good. Uh, there's little grooves in here. Um, that will help. I guess for gripping this thing a little bit better. It feels real nice on the hands, actually. I gotta say that. And then here's the uh, button to ignite the N2O. And here's where that other tube end hooks, to, hooks up to. And then this piece basically just unscrews and your N2O cartridge goes in here and then you lock it on up. All right, so that's the handle. Looks pretty good. And then here's the uh, N2O cartridges. I think I got <clears throat> um, old supply from my plastic handle kit from the Monster Pocket Bike. Um, so that's nice. I mean, five basically means that I can ignite it five times. Um, it, they don't last very long. It's like maybe a five second little boost, but yeah, five is uh, decent for our test video, but I definitely need to get more of these. And if you're doing this at home, make sure you get the N2O kits because CO2 will not work. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for the actual hardware. Here's a sticker for them. And then please tighten trigger button. Okay. Little note from them. And actual instructions. Very nice to see. Let's just do a quick glance in this to see what is going on in here. Important notes before using nitrous. Definitely be sure to read those. And, oh, interesting. Looks like you can, they're telling you you can use the uh, this kit for filling up tires too. You just have to use the CO2 cartridges. Huh, good to know. Looks like this is showing you how to set it up. That was what that strap is for. Just hooks right onto your handlebar. And then your button is right here. I feel like they could design this better just because uh, it gets pretty like bulky on the uh, handlebar. I don't know, it looks pretty tacky. I mean, this one looks nice and everything, but eh, I feel like it could just be a little just single button without all this next to your hand, but can't complain as long as it gives me the performance. Yeah, okay, so guys, this was the picture I was telling you about. Uh, when you see this thing installed, you'll see what I mean by this, but basically I just don't understand what they're talking about with this picture here. Because it says, using two of the used nitrous bottles, enlarge the hole at the top by drilling a quarter inch hole in the used bottles. I don't know about that. I'm going to have to look into that. Ooh, maybe off the top of my head, because there are boost bottles that 
I think this might be something to sort of in, uh, enlarge your cylinder head. I think that's what they're talking about. You can use two used cartridges and that uh, pushes air towards in the, into the empty cartridges. I don't think that they're saying actually put the filled ones in here, but that might be something. I'm gonna have to read through these instructions. Or let me know down below if you guys know anything. But yeah, this is basically the, the setup. I'll quickly go over it. Um, take one of your cartridges and then it just basically goes straight into here. I won't ignite it, but, and then you screw this in and it punctures the uh, tip here and then you just pretty much release the button whenever you wanna use your NO2 boost. And I'll be showing that in the test video, but yeah, let me know down below if you wanna see that test, if you wanna see the install, I'll show you the test video obviously, but yeah, if you guys wanna see the install, just let me know down below and I can do that for you. All right guys, that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Huh, okay, so after a little bit of digging in the instructions, it looks like the drill bit they send is actually for making the hole for the uh, actual release of the N2O bigger. That's pretty interesting, I mean, that they'd actually send a drill bit to let you do that since it doesn't really sound like it's really a stock thing to do. Um, I mean, I gotta say, I'm obviously really impressed that they uh, did that, but pretty interesting. There's actually a little hole right there, and yeah, you just drill it bigger if you want to let more N2O out at once. Pretty good.